Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about the Akashic Records and what you really need to know. What are the Akashic Records? It's basically the records of all time. Secrets on top of secrets on top of secrets. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about in this video, just everything you need to know and things that are not being said online. It's not a joke. This is a very serious thing because you have to keep in mind if there's an Akashic Records, why doesn't it have, why doesn't everyone have this information? Why isn't everyone able to tap into it? If everyone could just know about everything always, why don't you just tap into the Akashic Records, right? There's no cost to that, right? People who don't think there's a cost, I'll tell you about the, what happens right now. Talk to people first. And don't just go for, based off what I said, talk to people first. When you are talking to someone about the Akashic Records, you'll normally be under spiritually attacked just from just for talking about it. Things will get weird, you'll start feeling tired. This video, there's a whole bunch of angels guarding that God sent, so I'm not worried about that. Now, for people watching this video, you don't have to worry about it either because you're covered. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, so don't get worried, don't start flipping out. You're covered. When you're going to God, he has rule over all these entities and energies. They can't touch you when you ask for protection. In this video, there's heavy protection. So, straight into it. Even when you start talking about the Akashic Records to anyone, and this video is an exception, you start getting attacked, you start getting watched. Literally, you start getting watched by watchers. I wonder why. You begin getting watched by watchers. If you don't know who the watchers are, check out the Book of Enoch. And uh, yeah, so don't go trying to tap, I mean, People try to go breaking into something that they don't even... And yeah, when you go into the Akashic Records, you're breaking into it. You're breaking in. Long story short, how do you get in? Because I'm going to go in-depth in this video. I'll talk about that later on. So, what happens when you go into the Akashic Records? Assuming you get in, most of you are not actually getting in. You're going into a different kind of database. You're going into a different kind of records. For people who actually think they're getting into the Akashic Records and they, they find some useless information, you went into a different record. You didn't go to the Akashic Records. Can your angels give you the information to the Akashic Records? No. It's their code. They're not allowed to. That's not allowed of angels. Can demons? Yeah. They, they, can, free, they can freely do it. Will they freely give you the information? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. And some people comment, like, I went to the Akashic Records, I got this. If you went into the Akashic Records, if you went into the Akashic Records successfully, you would have some kind of status, some kind of fame. You would have something to show for it. So you probably didn't go into it like the way, just like the way you think you did. So some people are like, I went to the Akashic Records. Okay, where is that showing in your life right now? Okay, then I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm being straightforward. If you actually got the information that's in there, you'd be of a very high ranking. So in other words, what happens when you start trying to go into the Akashic Records? You get attacked. You'll get attacked for about three months straight. The, real, the rule of thumb is three months straight. Depends on how hard you're trying to go into it. Usually if you go and try to go into it once, you try to put your head in there once to the actual Akashic Records, then guess what? You'll get some kind of resistance. You'll have some kind of attack. You'll have, uh, I'll give you some symptoms here. You'll start sweating. You'll have nightmares. You'll have pains. You'll have uh, spiritual pains. Disclaimer, this is a spiritual video. So you'll feel ungrounded. You'll feel terror. You'll see everything start acting like it's getting cursed. You start seeing all these different things in your life go haywire and crazy. People are mean and aggressive to you. People you know are getting headaches, getting attacked. Spiritual headaches. If you talk about that in past videos. Disclaimer, that's not a spiritual. I mean, this is not a physical video. It's a spiritual video, but you start getting heavily attacked. If you don't recognize it, then you're going to, or you're just gonna, they'll wait for you to get bored sometimes, but you keep putting your head in there and you're resistant to attacks, they'll be resistant too. You better believe they have all the time in the world to attack. They have all the time in the world and more. And who's they? I'll talk about that in one second. So as time goes on and you keep trying to butt your head into Akashic Records, ask yourself, what's your intention? Did you ask God for this? Did you ask God for this help? Because I'm going to talk about who can get information from the Akashic Records successfully. Did you ask God for this? No. 
then who are you asking for this? Are you trying to go for your, by yourself? A human trying to go into the Akashic Records when they're still alive? Ask yourself that question. You think, uh, and there, let's just say there's a price from every deity, from every, and when I say a deity, I mean different level of spirit. There's only one God and he's the most high. Now, when I'm talking about the Akashic Records, a lot of people who think they've gotten the information from the Akashic Records are playing pretend. They're playing games. They never actually got information that helped them or their life would be changed and they'd be living very luxuriously. Because with that information, and that's what certain people uh, will uncover, is there's a price to it. So after about a couple months of being attacked, you'll, you'll get a vision. You'll get a, you'll get a voice in your head. You'll hear outside your house something will appear to you. You will have something that's a spirit show up to your door and basically tell you something. It's not, it's not a spirit, it's a demon. And most likely it'll sound along the lines of, okay, give something up to have something. Or, for example, this is a line they used with me a long time ago and I was digging into it. We are legion for we are many. And I'm like, what is that? And I'm, I actually looked it up at the time. I'm like, oh, okay, great. I'm like, wonderful. So... I kept digging into it a long time ago because I tried it myself before I knew any better. Because most people when they're doing it, they just don't know any better. So you keep digging, you keep digging, they'll give a proposed to. So these things will come to you and they'll be like, okay, give something up to have something. Or if you're persistent enough, they'll take something without even you asking. So it's a bargain. So if you keep banging on the door and you, and let's just say you start successfully getting information after banging, they're taking stuff from you now. They'll take your family members, they'll take anything that you love and it's something you love it's something you value so if you're banging on the akashic door god will let you have these warnings just so you understand so you're banging 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 they'll take something from you usually they want you just to sell your soul when i say just to sell your soul you ever have, ever i'm not giving away too much here but you ever wonder how certain people are in very high positions or how people have just like Let's just say they were a really horrible singer, a really horrible songwriter, and they just overnight became like, ooh, this is the best singer I've ever heard. Like, and now they're famous. Hmm, I wonder why. Certain information was tapped into to achieve certain levels of that. So the Akashic Records is, and yeah, this video is not rebellious. It's not, I'm not saying anything I shouldn't because this is safe information to teach. This is going to save a lot of you. So now that you know, you know. If you think, if, because some people are stubborn. Some people are stubborn. They'll be like, well, what you said, I, I actually know more than you know. Or like, and I'm, I'm the exception. Like, no, this is me. You're not above God, number one. And I'll tell you how you can actually, actually, accurately, and properly get information from the Akashic Records. Because you actually can. But it, like I said, it's on the most high's terms. It's on God's terms. And yeah. So when it comes to the Akashic Records... You have to know that this is something you can't just get into by banging. And yeah, it's raining here, by the way. Uh, if you see rain come in the car, fine. But, <laughs> and I'm fine with rain, but you keep banging, you keep banging, you keep banging. You'll either get the warning eventually, and sometimes you'll, I mean, it's going to happen. After three months of you continuously trying to get the information, you're going to get approached by something that looks like a person, or something that looks like, it looks like a... It's going to be something manifest. It could be an animal, a talking animal. And I say talking animal, I mean that too. You're going to get approached by something. And by then, at that point, it's already a little too late. So the thing about the Akashic Records, <laughs> you're like, you guys want to know something funny? I'm in the park. And I said, you're going to get approached by a talking animal. Some guy's looking at me. He's like, looking at his dog. He's like, <laughs> it's hilarious. God bless him. But <laughs> nice timing. So let's talk about timing. You actually want to get information for the Akashic Records. It's more than possible, and you can get it a lot easier than the other route. Who can you get it from? The Most High God. Ask in it. Matthew 7, 7, 8. Ask in it. Shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Ooh, knock and it shall be opened unto thee. Everyone who asketh, receiveth. Seeketh, it, seek it, findeth, and knocketh, it shall be opened unto him. The Most High God loves you so much. He loves you so much to the point where if you ask for information... He might not tell you it's from the Akashic Records, but God will present it to you from the Akashic Records through like a download or something. You'll, when I say download, it's kind of like you have a computer, which is your brain, and he takes some of that information and he'll slide it through your brain. It just appears. It's like, oh, how do I know this? It's like, you ever you ever see how some, some people get uh, winning lottery numbers, which are all in the Akashic Records? Which, when I say that, 
Mm. You want to get winning numbers from the Akashic Records? They'll take everything from you. They'll leave you without a home. They'll take all your family members. And the thing is, you know, when I say you take, I mean take. They'll take because they want to claim something because you're trying to claim something. It's fame and fortune. And yeah, so keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled. But ask God. Don't go through because you're in this world. You're using the devil. I mean, you're using the devil or using the most high God. You're going through one of the two. There's no in between. There's no you going to this, you going to that. No, one of them has a claim over you, the most high God or the devil. If you're not asking God for help, then sometimes the devil, the devil's asking for you. It's like, oh, wow. may I? Because you have to, you better believe the devil has to go through God to get through everything he wants done. He can't go around God. He's God. Okay. So the devil has to answer to God at the end of the day and he'll answer in end times. So with this information, how do you get information from the Akashic Records properly? You ask God and you wait. You do what you're supposed to do. You stay on your track and you wait. You stay patient. But you shouldn't ask for information from the Akashic Records directly. You should be direct about your intention. Instead of for asking, hey, can I get information from the Akashic Records? You'll ask for knowledge. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus Christ, may I please have knowledge. It's the biggest thing. What made King Solomon Solomon? What made King Solomon King Solomon? His knowledge. Mainly his knowledge. A lot of, a lot of it was his knowledge. There's other things too, but knowledge is so important. So when people are trying to go into the Akashic Records and they're not trying to get knowledge, what are you trying to do? It's literally a record. It's a database. So let me talk about who can go into the Akashic Records, what kind of entities. Uh, this one's not very fun to uh, talk about. Demons, because they don't have laws of angels, so they can easily be sneaky. So like I said, even if they might be sweet. Sometimes you might get friendly demons. Sometimes you might get a friendly proposal like, hey, and it might seem like you're actually getting information. So your attacks won't always be aggressive. They'll be passive. So they'll get aggressive if you get aggressive. But if you're passively trying to tap into the Akashic Records or, or trying to tap into this information, because in the Akashic Records, yeah, you can get information about your past life. So if your intention is to get information about your past life, ask God to access your past life and you can literally hit a button that wakes it up. He'll send some information to your guides or he'll allow your guides to tell you some more about your past life. Uh, you're, you'll, he'll hit a button allowing your guides to have downloads and certain information for you to be able to look into your past lives or even experience them. Because you do that anyway at the end of your life. Ooh. But... That's the thing about the Akashic Records. What's your intention? And like I said, this this video might not be popular with some, or might some might get aggravated by it. If you get aggravated about, if there's someone who gets aggravated or annoyed at this topic of me speaking about this, the truth is the truth. If you know more than angels, then you must be a very special human. You must be a very special human to know more than angels. Now, like I said, there's a price on this. There is a price on the Akashic Records, so. If you think you're doing something so different, you should have something to show for it. So not everyone, in, let's just say, how did some people find out about their past lives? It could have been the Akashic Records. Or, because like I said, you, God will sometimes hit the button that allows you to have information for the Akashic, Akashic Records. And some crystals will help with that, with the balance aspects about it. So when people talk about crystals allowing you to access the Akashic Records... It's giving you a key to be able to be receptive to the information. Hopefully that makes it more common uh, as like an understanding. So this is really important for you guys to know because don't mess up. That's the biggest thing. Don't mess up. Don't try to be rebellious or stubborn. You know this information's there. And if you know what the price... Because there's some foolish people out here who think they can get whatever they want for free. The spiritual realm, you're always going to pay. And if you don't want to pay, you'll be made to pay. That's how the Akashic Records goes. So what is it that you're paying? And this is kind of, some people might be like, huh? What are you paying God when it comes to you getting this information? You're paying with time and patience and consistency. Most people, that's a va very valuable currency in the spiritual realm. You know, most people don't have that. Most people will be a like just, as, just fix fixated fixated there we go <laughs> looking for the word fixated on a very specific spiritual topic and they won't care so sometimes people will be seven years in their life before they get a giant download from the akashic sometimes 
it's seven days. It just depends on the person, depends on their journey, depends on their past experience, depends on how long they've been on their journey, etc. But this video really makes it straightforward and simple. There's no sugarcoating it. If you don't like this video, then too bad. The truth is the truth. If you don't like this video and now you have the knowledge of knowing that it's a USPS truck delivering my package to you guys. Uh, all the necklaces are heading out to you guys now. <laughs> but the thing is, and I'm very tough on the subject because I'm saving you guys time and effort and energy and I'm saving you guys the heartbreak. So now you know. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. Now you, if you try to break into the Akashic Records without the help of God and you listen to this whole video and you're trying to do stuff by yourself maybe in the future there's a different consequence to when you know something and then you do it and there's a different consequence to as when you don't know something and then you do it so now if you uh more USPS truck showing up wow lots of necklaces going up but more and yeah check out floridastoneman.com if you haven't already for necklaces but now you know now you can now you can say that you know it's not there's no changing the facts it stays the same because it's the truth you might not like the truth but you have to accept it it's the truth now if you like sugar-coated spirituality this is not the channel for you but i'm saving a lot of people just by teaching this topic it's very important that people know this very important <laughs> you want to know how easy it is that when god wants you to have information for the akashic records Sometimes it'll just like, it just falls into your hands. But you have to really work for it and be consistent. And that's how God works. You try to, try to do it on your own term. If you're trying to go around God, then you'll have the consequences of that. But God loves you enough to the point where you, when you prove yourself to him and prove that you're patient and, and you're, you're consistent, then it'll be yours regardless. Just be patient. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Check out floridastoneman.com. If you have not seen some of my necklaces, they're amazing. Check my website out, floridastoneman.com. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.